Glad to have you back. The Nigerian Export Promotion Council and the Nigerian American Chamber of Commerce and Industry has set to strengthen ties to help increase non-oil exports to the United States. Chief Executive Officer of the NEPC, Olusha Gwaolowo, reaffirmed this position at a visit to the chambers in Lagos. Business correspondent to Lokbe Ogunjobi reports. The African Growth and Opportunities Act is a unilateral trade preference program that aims at increasing United States trade and investment with sub-Saharan African countries. Data from the United States Department for Economic and Regional Affairs reveals that Nigeria accounted for a paltry volume of about $9 million out of $2.7 billion agricultural exports recorded by the continent to the United States in 2017. This meeting by the Nigerian Export Promotion Council and the Nigerian American Chamber of Commerce is aimed at exploring ways of increasing the country's volume of trade with the United States. There is need to have a more senior representation on the Agua Committee at the Ministry of Trade here. So we would like to crave your indulgence to support us since this will be mainly private sector driven. And uh, the CSO gave us the assurance that he wants to make Nigeria the center for Agua in Africa. We don't want a paper strategy. We want an implementable strategy. We call it a five-year strategy program that on a yearly basis, we measure the success of what we are doing. At the end of the first year, was the volume of production and the volume of exports that we want to the United States. Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, we are very definite about it, about this strategic document. Olusha Gwaolo was quick to reel out efforts made by the council aimed at balancing trade relations. So, NEPC has indeed been active in trade promotion relations with the U.S. And we have active partnerships and collaborations, such as the West African Trade Up, uh, set up to improve our performance on the Agua. Uh, while SMEs have been assisted to the United States on trade fairs to promote products in the garment and textile subsector and agriculture. Both parties agree that Nigeria is not doing very well in non-oil exports and improving trade will help increase foreign direct investment. Uh, we need you to explore the possibility of investment into priority areas for development of our export. Mr. President, Nigeria has been a good receiver of FDI, particularly from the United States of America. But the FDI that has come has gone into the financial services, it has gone into uh, telecommunications. We need more investments in manufacturing and industry. The skill gap is so bad that, look, somebody wants to make a shirt and he cannot repeat the shirt because he's doing it all alone from color to impressive to everything. So we started a, 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 a bridge gap program. We have NEPC, Human Capital Development Center. Now in our, that center, we produce shit under six, uh, 16 minutes. The NEPC also reiterated its commitment to working with relevant stakeholders to help develop a strategy that will help Nigeria benefit more from the act. Tolu Lokpe Ogunjobi, TVC News, Lagos.